All right, what's up guys? This is Average Cracker with a video review of my Kicker Hideaway Speaker. Uh, I already tried to make this video like maybe 30 minutes ago. Wasn't feeling in the best mood. Felt like the video kind of came out crap. So I'm trying again and hopefully this time it turns out a little bit better. So this is my 2006 MX-5 and today we're going to be talking about the Hideaway Speaker which is basically a small little 8 inch sub that comes with the amplifier built in into one unit that'll go anywhere you want to kind of hide it. Hence the name Hideaway. So coming to the car, when you open it up, it's very unassuming. Just looking around, you don't really see anything until I put down the seat and say, hey, look, there's a subwoofer. So this is the kicker hideaway. Here's a little look at the dials and everything on here. I have everything set pretty high, the X over, the gain, and the bass boost is all the way up. I'll explain that in just a second. The phase is set to where I believe you get the most bass response, which is zero. And I think that's a degree sign. I don't really know what that means. The issue with this unit initially, for me anyways, personally, was all this is plastic and all the cables I had hidden back here were rattling around so I had to zip tie it in like that. It has minimized the rattling, but not completely because of the cable. It's not so much this plastic everywhere, but this was part of the issue. If you have a lot of plastic and you plan on setting it up like this, you're probably going to run into the same issue. So what I recommend is not only mounting it to whatever you're going to be mounting with screws, just use the straps. The other option is if you have a car that isn't so low to the frame, or I guess the body of the car, you could actually mount these straps underneath the seat and have this thing underneath your butt. And I think that would be the ideal place for this thing. I don't know if that would be better or worse. I think, personally, I would like this under my butt better. It would be more hidden, one, and two, I feel like you would feel it a lot stronger, but I'm not 100% on that. So anyways, I hadn't had all the settings set up onto max when I initially put it on because of the rattling. Now that I've worked out all the kinks with just the strap and strapping in the cables to my little cubby there, everything seems to work perfectly fine. So what we'll do is we'll step in the car and I'm sorry if you see my nasty feet because I'm wearing sandals. First time I did this, I had normal shoes on. But I went inside and started relaxing. Anyways, that's besides the point. So here we are inside of the car. As you can see, the car's not on. But this is my unit. It's the JVC, a fairly cheap unit, I would assume. It's an older unit. I think it's probably from around the time this car came out. 2006 or something like that. I've, I've read the manual, I just haven't noted how old this is. But it's a pretty good unit, considering that it's fairly cheap. And in the doors, we have... Kenwoods, you can actually see my install videos on those and I think I should review them in the future because they're really really good Especially for the price, but that's for another time Anyways, I'll switch from this camera after I turn on the car. We'll just turn it on turn On the AC no, Actually, we'll turn that off. I'll bake myself, but it's just so that you can hear the most noise as possible I guess if that makes sense. So you can hear the representation more accurately, hopefully, because I think that vent's over there facing the camera, which I'm looking at. And we're actually gonna switch back to that one. So here we are inside of the car, as you already know. The subwoofer is behind me. And although I said under the seat was the most ideal location for, for me personally, if I could do it, I would do it. In this car, there isn't enough room. So this works perfectly. You still don't see it unless you really pay attention to it. One really cool thing I actually forgot to mention is there's this little knob over here. And what this does is basically this will control your base level, as it says there. Now, if you saw in the beginning of this video how I said the base level was turned all the way up, it's because I pretty much just controlled it from here and I just left it all the way up. So I know that I can max it out with this little nozzle or knob your nozzle now we're gonna go ahead and choose some uncopywritten music or some uh, what's this stuff called royalty free music so now I'll demonstrate what it sounds like and hopefully you can hear so we have the lavalier mic we have the microphones inside of the action camera by Sony and then we have a Sony voice recorder 
which hopefully should give you an accurate representation of all this. Uh, side note, if you have headphones, wear them if you're listening to a to a home theater system or something. You shouldn't need them. Hopefully, you'll be able to get the feel of this, this bass. So, let me see if I can find something with decent bass. I'd like to max it out. Hopefully I'm not too loud. I'd like to max it out. Which I actually did originally in the first video, but it wasn't loud. This is really freaking loud. Yeah, I'm not about to blow the speakers for demonstration purposes, but there is definitely a lot of bass and you can definitely feel it in your back. Now this isn't going to break any windows next to you or make people come running over and, you know, just being like, what do you have in there? Nobody will notice this. It's very unsuspecting. From the outside in, you only notice if you ever touch the doors or you look at the mirrors. From the inside out, you can also see the mirror shaking, which means that something's happening in this car. But only if you really pay attention. Um, what else can I talk about? So pricing this thing I think goes for retail 300 bucks up from there up from 300 bucks it's pretty pricey but I think for the price you can't find something better I think the other options are Kenwood and Alpine or actually there's also a JBL one which I initially wanted and I still want but I already have this so the JBL one I think had the better frequency but this one was a cheaper unit so I went with a cheaper unit and it hasn't failed to impress honestly for the size of the speaker it's only an 8 inch it produces a good amount of bass and if anything you can always raise it up and I definitely feel that or you can lower it and right now I have it at 75% pretty much on gain X over and the bass level which is perfect considering my bass levels on the stereo are negative four my mids are positive three and then my trebles all the way to five just as a reference point they all go to six you know there's not much to say about this thing I love it for the price for the size for the overall package it's amazing Just to show you guys what it's like from the outside. I'm not sure if you can hear that or see that, but I could definitely see that thing vibrating. So yeah, my overall thoughts, if you haven't figured out already, I love this thing. I think I already said that. So with that being said, Definitely, if you have a smaller callout like this, or you just want something that's not over the top, and something that you can easily pull out, mess around with, uh, in terms of placement, this is a perfect unit for you. The only downside is that the connection to the unit, the stereo, the head unit, is connected to the side speaker, so you can't independently control the bass on this thing unless you use an adapter that goes to RCA. The downside is the one in the manual can't even be purchased through Kicker on their website, so you'd have to purchase it third party. And I don't know what that'll cost. I think it's not too bad, but purchasing from third party isn't something I like to do a lot. That's my review on this thing. I love it. If you're looking at it and thinking about purchasing one, definitely recommend it, but if you're looking for something to wow your friends, to definitely get noticed at car meets or something go for 212 with a decent amplifier and you'll be much happier but this is more of a i want to say stock look and feel it's really good
Thanks for watching. Leave a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. I want to kind of get away from the exhaust stuff. I've been overloading on exhaust videos uh, for quite a while now, but that's just what I love making and I'm only going to make videos that I enjoy making. Hence why I had to do this twice. I wasn't feeling it the first time. So thanks for watching again. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe. See you on the next one.